Hello, Proof of Progress presentation number two. Michael Modig here from this series with Alex and Kevin. Not exactly sure the best way to identify these contracts. My topic is getting onto the IPFS. Themes that came out of this exploration are I was trying to identify workflows for moving video files onto the IPFS from either my PC or my iPad or even my laptop that has Linux Ubuntu on it and which software would I use to create the videos and to upload the videos and where to upload the videos. So all of that was the topic. That'll be number two about the IPFS in particular. And also number three, that's more of a process reflection on study buddy per se, not so much about the IPFS. So here again are the reflection questions. I'm learning about IPFS. What I did was to install a node and I had to play around with that a bit. It's easy enough to do if you know exactly where to go. That's often the trick, right? The IPFS doesn't have an iPad version. I, 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 I will I should introduce the IPFS, the Interplanetary File System, a little bit and why we wanted to go there. And the thing that's special about it is that it's a decentralized file storage system. So unlike Google Drive or Dropbox, this is decentralized. Why do you use the IPFS? It's in the whole theme of decentralized programs like DAPs, DAOs, all of that. What did I do? I created this node and here I, I created I uploaded this file and I have just copied the CID the I'm not sure what C stands for content identifier probably and I'm going to paste it into the browse function of I, IPFS and it brings me to this page I had done that previously and then if we go to one of these gateways there nice. it is oh, yeah. that's my earlier my earlier artifact. The exercise was just to show that I've got the file on the IPFS, which so I should physically point at it. So here's what I did. I uploaded, I I got I, I got a file up there. That's what I needed to do. Okay, moving along. What did I learn? So I learned in, in a couple of themes. This first theme, identifying workflows. If people are going to be making video artifacts for uploading to so that they can be viewed by other people, so that they can be seen as evidence of learning. How does that work? Oh, you know, we don't necessarily want to use TikTok, although something like that would be great. And, and, and what did I learn about that? I learned that the that YouTube for now is probably still the way to go, even though in the long run probably that would, might be problematic because it's out of our control. But for now, that's good. On the IPFS in particular, a couple of, a couple of learnings came out of that. One is that that CID number that the IPFS creates doesn't really, I guess, render is the word. It doesn't create a usable H, uh, a URL. And we are looking at whether there could be a player that would embed those to make it easily visible. And for now, we're saying, no, there isn't really that we're aware of that's too much work and if that's even a thing to play from modic dev. So we're going to stay with YouTube for now. Ideally all of these questions would be resolved where people would have a dedicated phone and it goes somewhere and it's all dedicated. <laughs> so the IPS for, for now very interesting and it's uh, a bit future music as they say of Deutsch. Okay and then the third question what did I learn about the, the study buddy process? Our questions have shifted quite a lot, at least mine have. I started with the Plutus course and now I'm thinking about IPFS. I also missed our deadline. We were supposed to have posted this three days ago this week. So that's interesting and this is a pilot so we're, we're learning about that stuff. I've done numbers one, two, and three. How could I apply this? The learning about the IPFS well, we're going to apply this by saying we're not going to use the IPFS for now, although ideally we will. The other piece about that is that 
we want to mint these as as NFTs, and we I guess we'll be doing that from YouTube. So that's probably my next assignment. What I learned about myself, actually, it was very interesting. This this learning about myself, and it, it's not how I feel. The question is, what have I learned about myself, my my own processes, and my own preferences, and my own strategies? So I was struggling with which camera to use, and obviously the iPad is a great way to go, and there is a built-in integration stuff to YouTube. So, And I also learned that I want to make a lot of videos because I have a lot to say and a lot to learn. So I'm going to really focus on that piece quite a lot more than I have done. Questions I now have uh, having to do with the minting and how to, how, how, how to best display these various artifacts that we're making. I'm probably promoting dev on the YouTube channel is the best way to go. And I have questions about the about the learning contracts in general and how how if there's a specific topic and then a general topic and if topics change and is that still useful to people. So this will be very I'm very interested to see in our debrief happening, I hope, or later today or tomorrow, how the other my team members feel about the utility of this process. Do I have anything else to say? No, I think that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Michael Modig, over and out.